Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial on Minecraft and Fiend Beast and Forestry and a bit of other mods as well. And this time we're looking at part seven of B101, and this and it is the Infernal division of the bees, so the Infernal branch. Uh, interestingly enough, they're not necessarily found in the Nether, but they are actually made in the Nether. So, without further ado, just so you, um, so we're going to start with the Sinister, the very first one. So. To do that, we're going to need a modest princess and a cultivated drone. Now, for some reason, the cultivated don't recognise it as daytime in the Nether. I'm not quite sure what that is. So you actually do need to use the, the uh, modest princess and to make. So you're definitely going to get a modest queen. So for the modest queen, you're going to need a cacti um, in order to keep that one happy. And you probably want to have these Nether warts here as well, or somewhere around just ready for your next divisions as well. So we'll just make a few more of these. Um, okay, so the one that we're going to be making first is Sinister B. Has a um, an area effect damage, so it's actually going to, um, I think it's called the aggressive effect. So the aggressive effect means that it will damage. There we go, good already. For some reason it keeps going to escape. Um, it will damage the people around it if it is in there grow, um, as a queen. That's fine. So from there, we've got our Sinister Princess. Um, and you can probably use the other side of the princess if you really wanted to, but I would recommend using that one just because you know exactly what they're going to need. They're going to need um, some nether warts, which you can easily grow down here. And you have a, a, a plethora, <laughs> if you want a big word, um, of choices when it comes to the mate type. So you can start with the modest. You can try modest in there, which we'll do with that one. You can also... Oh, they're exactly the same. You can also use a mod, um, so a cultivated. Try the cultivated as well. And you can. Oh, you notice that that one. The um, this spider is taking damage because of the bees in there. And then we've also got the option to make use tropical. There we go, tropical there. All right. So the last one, the cultivated princess apparently. Arch comb. So we still got our um, sinister drone there. Okay, so we'll go for another sinister princess along with, let's do modest. Alright, so it's, the sinister princess does need the nether warts, and if you're not in creative mode, then you are going to take damage from these, so you're going to need some a bee suit to negate the effects, or at least try not to come around very much. You can use these to get a bit of um, items. So we've got, oh, I've got amateur beekeeper. So there we go. We've got f no, no fiendish is what we started with. Oh no, fiendish is what we need. So now we have a fiendish on the pristine stock. Um, we'll get rid of these drones. We're going to try and work our way to. Now I need a sinister, a demonic, which is the last. So fiendish. So a demonic one, which is the yeah the last in this series in this type. So we've got a sinister and a fiendish. So you put these ones together. Oh, a malicious drone. Oh, I haven't haven't got to that one yet in our um, series, but we will eventually. So I won't worry about going into that one because that is part of a different branch and it is not important today. So we've got our Fiendish and we've got our Sinister. Don't need that one. Try and get our Demonic. So what we're going to do is show you what they can make. So the Fiendish makes, well, all three of them are going to make a Simmering Comb. The Fiendish also creates, has a nice little chance of making Ash, which I won't worry about explaining what it is because you can check up on the wiki. And the Demonic, um, which we're about to be creating, which is actually there, um, will create the Simmering Stone. Um, the simmering um, comb as well as glowstone, which can be very useful. So what this is going to make, this has a 100% chance of making refractory wax. Um, so as you can see, you gain that every time. And you also have a, I think it's 70% chance of getting phosphor, but it doesn't seem to be um, giving us any at the moment for some reason. There we go, there's phosphor. So it is, it is meant to have a 70% chance of giving us 
um, two times foster, foster, fo phosphor. So refractory wax is used to make wax capsules that can hold lava, unlike normal wax capsules that cannot. And phosphor is actually used in a squeezer to make lava. So you could actually use this system to make infinite lava, um, or a yeah, combination. So you use a demon, a demonic, to make infinite lava from your bees, as well as uh, infinite glowstone, which is pretty good considering you can't, especially if you don't have uh, access to quarries in the Nether and that kind of thing. All right, so we haven't quite got our. We've got a, there. We go, we've got a frugal drone in there as well. So um, we'll leave him off. So we've got our fiendish, and we need one sinister um, fiendish. Got a cultivator from the um, initial. So fiendish sinister again. Um, it's not time. Not daytime apparently. I wonder why it's saying that on us. I can just set daytime just in case. So oh, a frugal. We've got another frugal in there. Silly frugals getting in our way. Um, fiendish sinister. Well, that's silly. It's not daytime. All the others seem to have it. That's alright. I'll just put another. Put a sinister in. There we go, that's what we're looking for, the demonic drone. Um, I'll put that in there and hope to get the demonic out of that. That's what we're looking for, That's going to, and that'll this demonic drone will finish off the episode for today. So, um, if you like this one, give us a thumbs up, and then stay tuned for the next episode, which is hopefully going to be a bit of austere or monastic. I'm not quite sure which one we're going to be running into first because they do cross over a little bit. And this one's actually powering down the, the simmering comb. I haven't had this one going. I've only had it going since the episode started. So they're actually doing pretty well. And this is DJ signing out.